cook lover. I am here today to talk a little bit about nature. When you're out walking around, don't just walk from your unit to the waterfront or from waterfront to the dining hall or wherever you're walking. Even if you're not at camp when you're at home, pay attention and look. I'm standing here next to the old well house. Does anybody see anything really cool here? I mean, other than me, of course, I'm amazing. But we have a box turtle down here. And you can tell it's a female because it has brown eyes. The males have red eyes. And she's just hanging out here and we're gonna leave her be. We're not gonna bother her. But when you're walking, pay attention and look. There's all kinds of things you can see. go through two types of reproduction. They have the sporophyte phase. If you look closely, you can see the little spores. Or they have the other phase, which is called the gametophyte phase of reproduction. When you look at a fern, you want to see, is it going through its gametophyte or sporophyte phase? This one is in transition. If you look along the cliff's edge, you'll notice that erosion has been a major factor. You can see almost the waves that have taken place over the, the time period just to see all the different areas. If you see the little pockets, the holes, that means that stone was a softer and that's where you get that little divot coming from. So here we see a spider, and if you notice that white ball at the end of it, that's the egg sac. Mama wolf spiders carry their eggs around with them, and then once the eggs hatch, the babies climb on their back and live on their mama's back for about a week before they go out into the world on their own. Mama wolf spiders are really good mamas. a box turtle. He's just hanging out. They live on the land and if you look you can tell it's a boy because he has red eyes. Females eyes are not red. He has red eyes. I'm going to try and pick him up here. we will probably go back in but we can take a look at him. You can see he's had some shell damage there above his head. He's got a little bit of a deformity but you can see how he tucks in nice and tight and he closes all up and nothing can get him. We're going to set them right back down where we found them. We never take turtles and move them from where they are. They live in a very small area and they spend their entire lives in that small area. So it would be like if somebody picked you up if you lived in Evansville and plopped you in the middle of Gibson County. You wouldn't know where you were. That's why we always just look at the turtles and leave them right where we found them. 